Hi everyone, it's Tasha from Designer Trapped in a Lawyer's Body. Today I'm just going to do a quick video to show you um, what I think is the most confusing part of the butterfly lollipop valentines. I think it's easier to explain um, by just showing you step by step um, in a video as opposed to photos. So I've already created a couple. Um, by this time you will have already duplicated all of your butterflies. So now you just need to insert the, the text. So you're going to come over here and click on your A to insert text. I have mine set to a size of 24. So you'll just want to leave that. Um, and I'm using the Sebastian sketch font. You do have to type your text for every single one, or at least I did. I couldn't figure out a better way to do it. Um, but it doesn't take that long. So after you type out the text, which on mine I used, you make our hearts flutter since they're butterflies, you want to click on this little circle with the arrows in it and grab it. And if you pull it over towards one of your curves, it will follow the curve of your design. Um, and after you've done that, I just, I felt like mine looked, my Characters looked a little too squished, so I just adjust the spacing a little by clicking on the character spacing to the right, and then make any other adjustments that you need. So that's that side. Then you would just repeat it on the other side to complete the text on the right. And then the only other step you need to complete is click on the entire butterfly so that it's outlined with a square. You want to click on your offset tool, which is right up here. It will open a new window to the right and then click on the top button that says offset the selected shape and click apply. I, I used the distance that it defaults to, which is 0 0.125. What that does is it moves your cut line out a little bit so that you're sure you're not cutting into the text when you get to that step. So that's it for this portion of the tutorial. Um, it's not hard at all, uh, but as I was looking for tutorials on how to do it, I found that it was a little difficult to follow just by looking at photos. Um, so I'm hoping that this video was helpful.